Kayla Brees. Racism. Bertrand Russell said, Collective fear stimulates herd instinct and tends to produce ferocity toward those who are not regarded as members of the herd. I think he was talking about the ignorance of racism and various other prejudices. Racism is the belief that race and ethnicity are the primary determinants of human traits and capacities. Racism throughout history has been a system that has fashioned group privileges and has ultimately invited a process of social division. As an ideology, racism has existed as long as history can date itself. The strangest of which happened probably during the 19th century is so-called scientific racism uh, attempted to provide a racial classification of humanity based on observable evidence. Although many racist ideologies have been widely discredited post-World War II, the phenomena of racism and of racial discrimination has remained widespread all over the world. Some dispute that race is overemphasized but historical evidence suggests that the unequal treatment of minorities is not just a ploy but a reality. Still, why does racism exist? Is it that we simply need simple answers in a complex world so we create stereotypes? Is it that discrimination is primal human tendency? Whatever the reason for its insidious development, the world is having a difficult time expelling the mindset. Fortunately, new generations of children, especially those from multicultural communities and interracial marriages, have helped suppress the angry yelping of our ancestors. Even then, it exists. Many who once were acclaimed for fighting equality, like the minister Jesse Jackson, have been recently quoted saying Presidential Barack Obama is not black enough. What the hell does that even mean? The sadness here is that Mr. Jackson loses his authority and funding if equality were to surface. So comments like these are made to sustain inequality and racial separation. Mr. Jackson is simply energizing racism. Racism was easier to identify and name when different ethnic groups kept to their own. But the 21st century sees not a skin color disparity, but a disparity within economic cultures. I am white, and yet I don't think I would have much in common with Eminem. On the other hand, I could probably get along with Wayne Brady, assuming I don't have to hear him sing. So what does this mean? Is Wayne acting white and Eminem acting black? Or are they simply products of their environment? And how does one even act a skin color? Race and ethnicity are not templates for one's behavior, just like one's eye and hair color mean nothing more than eye and hair color. My question to my fellow intellectuals is this. Why haven't we overcome the ignorance of racism? Why do we seek to continue labeling ourselves? And is racism just simply part of human instinct? In my rudimentary understanding of this issue, I must declare that racism is bullshit. Yes, prejudice exists, but as 21st century individuals, if we really want to overcome racism, maybe we should stop labeling ourselves as skin tones and simply label ourselves as moral, intelligent, and beautiful. If you think all black people speak ebonics and all white people lack the ability to dance, then you are not just a racist, you're an idiot. Judge people by the individual. Let us break our stereotypes. The best way to equality is through education. The real minority is simply the ignorant person. As we move into the future, education and sophistication will be the privileged cultures, not black or white or brown or whatever. Let us forget about ethnicity completely. Not necessarily our cultural heritage, but our individual ethnicity. 
remember, people, there is a point in our history where every individual alive today can be traced back to an identical ancestor point. That would make us family. This is Kayla Breeze. What do you know?